The Out of Africa theory is one of the most widely accepted models of human evolution and origin. It proposes that modern humans originated from Africa and later migrated to other parts of the world. This theory has revolutionized our understanding of human evolution and provided new insights into the diversity of human populations. The theory was first proposed in the late 1980s and 1990s based on the discovery of human ancestors in Africa and the analysis of genetic data. The discovery of early human fossils in Africa, including the famous fossil of the early human ancestor Lucy, was a major factor in establishing the theory. The analysis of DNA data also supported the theory, revealing that modern humans share a common ancestry with African populations. It has been extensively researched and refined and has become one of the cornerstone theories of human evolution. It has helped to explain the diversity of human populations and has shed light on the migrations of early humans out of Africa and into other parts of the world. In this documentary, we will provide a brief overview of the background and context of the Out of Africa theory and explain why it is considered a major breakthrough in the field of human evolution. We will also discuss the significance of the theory and its impact on our understanding of human diversity and origin. One of the key strengths of the theory is the amount of evidence that supports it. This evidence includes fossil, genetic, and archaeological data that provides a comprehensive picture of human evolution and migration. The fossil evidence. The discovery of early human fossils in Africa, such as the famous Lucy fossil, was one of the key pieces of evidence supporting the out of Africa theory. These fossils provide evidence of the early evolution of modern humans and their development in Africa. Fossils from other parts of the world, such as Europe and Asia, also support the theory by demonstrating that early humans migrated out of Africa and into other regions. Archaeological evidence. Archaeological evidence has also played a significant role in supporting the out of Africa theory. Evidence of early human migration and colonization, such as tools and artifacts, has been found in different parts of the world. This evidence provides a timeline of early human migrations and helps to support the theory. The theory proposes that modern humans originated in Africa and later migrated to other parts of the world. This migration was a gradual process that took place over thousands of years, as early humans moved out of Africa and into different parts of the world. The first migrations of early humans out of Africa took place approximately 1.8 million years ago, as early humans moved into Asia and Europe. These early human populations were characterized by their use of stone tools and their ability to hunt and gather food. As they migrated, they encountered different environments and adapted to their new surroundings, developing new technologies and cultural practices. Over time, Early humans continue to migrate and colonize new regions. They eventually reach the Americas, Asia, Australia, and other parts of the world. These migrations were driven by a variety of factors, including climate change, resource availability, and competition with other species. The migrations of early humans out of Africa were a gradual and complex process that took place over thousands of years. These migrations were driven by a variety of factors and had a profound impact on the development of different cultures and civilizations. They also helped to shape the diversity of human populations as early humans encountered new environments and adapted to their new surroundings. The migrations of early humans out of Africa and into different parts of the world led to the development of distinct human populations each with their own unique genetic and cultural characteristics. While all modern humans are descendants of a common ancestral population in Africa, the populations that developed in different parts of the world were influenced by different environmental, cultural, and genetic factors. One of the key differences between early human populations was their genetic diversity. African populations have the greatest genetic diversity reflecting the fact that modern humans originated in Africa. 
Populations in other parts of the world have less genetic diversity, reflecting the smaller size of these populations and the effects of genetic drift. Another difference between early human populations was their cultural practices. Populations in different parts of the world develop their own unique cultures and technologies based on the materials and resources available in their environment. For example, populations in Asia developed bronze and iron technologies, while populations in the Americas developed agriculture and the use of pottery. The migrations of early humans out of Africa and into different parts of the world led to the development of distinct human populations, each with their own unique genetic and cultural characteristics. These differences reflect the complex and dynamic interactions between early humans and their environment and have helped to shape the diversity of human populations. The out-of-Africa theory has had a profound impact on our understanding of human evolution. Prior to the acceptance of the theory, there were a variety of competing models of human evolution, including the multi-regional hypothesis, which proposed that modern humans evolved from multiple ancestral populations in different parts of the world. This new theory out of Africa challenged these earlier models and provided a new and comprehensive explanation for the origin and evolution of modern humans. It showed that modern humans originated in Africa and later migrated to other parts of the world, and that the diversity of human populations is a result of these migrations. The acceptance of the out-of-Africa theory has also had important implications for our understanding of human diversity and the relationships between different human populations. It has shown that all modern humans are descendants of a common ancestral population in Africa and that the differences between populations reflect the effects of migration, adaptation, and genetic drift. In conclusion, the out-of-Africa theory has had a profound impact on our understanding of human evolution and has provided a comprehensive explanation for the origin and evolution of modern humans. It has helped to shape our understanding of human diversity and the relationships between different human populations and has provided a new framework for studying the evolution of our species. There is a wealth of evidence supporting this theory from the fields of genetics, archaeology, and anthropology. This evidence includes molecular genetics, comparative anatomy, and the study of stone tools and other cultural artifacts. One of the key pieces of evidence for the theory is molecular genetics. Studies of the human genome have shown that all modern humans share a common ancestry and that African populations have the greatest genetic diversity. These findings support the idea that modern humans originated in Africa and later migrated to other parts of the world. Archaeological evidence also supports the out-of-Africa theory. The study of stone tools and other cultural artifacts has shown that early human populations in different parts of the world had unique technological and cultural practices, which reflect the influence of their local environment and the effects of migration and adaptation. In addition, Comparative anatomy studies have shown that early human populations in different parts of the world had distinctive physical characteristics, such as skull shape and tooth size, which reflect the effects of natural selection and adaptation to local environments. Despite its widespread acceptance, the theory has faced challenges from some researchers who question certain aspects of the theory or propose alternative explanations. Some of the key challenges to the theory include the multi-regional hypothesis. Some researchers have proposed that modern humans evolved from multiple ancestral populations in different parts of the world rather than a single ancestral population in Africa. This alternative explanation, known as the multi-regional hypothesis, is based on the idea that early human populations in different parts of the world interbred and exchanged genetic material, leading to the evolution of modern humans. The role of hybridization. Some researchers have proposed that early human populations in different parts of the world interbred with other hominin species, such as Neanderthals and Denisovans, and that this hybridization had an important impact on the evolution of modern humans. The timing of the out-of-Africa migration. 
there is still some debate about the timing of the out-of-Africa migration, with some researchers proposing that modern humans migrated out of Africa earlier than previously thought. The Role of Climate Change Some researchers have argued that climate change, rather than biological factors, was the primary driver of the out-of-Africa migration. While the out-of-Africa theory is widely accepted, it has faced challenges from some researchers who propose alternative explanations or question certain aspects of the theory. Despite these challenges, the out-of-Africa theory remains the dominant explanation for the origin and evolution of modern humans and continues to shape our understanding of human evolution. Despite its widespread acceptance, the out-of-Africa theory continues to be an active area of research, with new discoveries and advances in technology leading to new insights and questions. One of the key areas of future research is the study of ancient DNA, which is providing new and detailed information about the genomes of early human populations and other hominin species. This research is helping to clarify the relationships between different human populations and shed light on the processes of migration and adaptation that shaped the evolution of modern humans. Thanks for joining us on our journey as we explored the theory of where we came from. Next episode, we will take a look at some of the other theories linked to human evolution. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future documentaries from Documentary Pilot. Until next time, good day.